I'm Jordan Snyder with Thor Motor Coach, and this is the Hurricane 35M Gas Class A motorhome. Today we're going to give you a walk around on the Hurricane 35M Gas Class A motorhome, uh, specifically the new part of what's in the interior. Uh, we'll take you from the front cap down the side of the coach to the rear, and of course take you inside, show you what's new uh, for this year for model 2021. So let's get started. So to start today, we're gonna talk about the front of the motorhome, uh, specifically new for this year on the Hurricane. We have a brand new redesigned molded fiberglass front cap. Uh, what you'll notice if you've seen last year's model, specifically on the headlights, it's more of a vertical orientation. Previous model year was more of a horizontal orientation. So when you go into this category of gas class A motorhome, you're getting a true bus style, um, class A front cap versus some of our other motorhomes in the class A segment that have sort of a shorter windshield, so less visibility. Here it's more of a traditional class A look with, again, bigger windshield, more visibility, what you're going to see. The molded fiberglass is really important because it's all one piece, all right? St structurally, it's gonna be more sound than other manufacturers. Um, partial paint is something that you have an option for on the Hurricane model. Where you'll see it is on the front quarter, front top quarter, I should say, of the motorhome, and then the bottom rear quarter of the motorhome. Moving down the side of the coach, chrome Velvac mirrors is something that is standard on all of our Hurricane motorhomes. Velvac is a name that carries a lot of credibility and validity to it. It's sort of like Sony TV or Pioneer Radio. When people see that, they know that it's got a lot of recognition behind it. Why we use it, two reasons. The mirrors are heated, so for those people that are going to the colder climates, it's a great feature to talk about, great feature to utilize. And then the side vision cameras right here that are integrated into the mirror. I think that's really important to talk about, especially when you have other manufacturers that do put side vision cameras on their motorhome, but They'll be below the belt line over the wheel well, so more of a chance for that side vision camera to get coated in some of the elements, whether it's snow, dirt, salt, and some of those areas. And if you do have someone that's a little concerned in making a right or left hand turn and they really rely on that side vision camera, it's important to have them up here because it has less of a chance of getting covered up, thus covering their visibility. Um, Moving down the side of the coach, this is something that's pretty unique to talk about. Some people call it a doggy window, some people call it a trucker window or a peeper window. Uh, I like utilizing the doggy window nomenclature specifically because we do have a lot of customers that like to take their pets with them on the road trips. So it's kind of a cool feature for them to take their pet, their dog or cat or whatever they have and show them that that's a place for them to look out of. But from a functional standpoint, it's really crucial if you do make a right hand turn and you're in that part of the country where they allow, say for example, motorcycles go between those lanes of traffic. I know in California, that's something they allow. So um, I think that's a great safety feature to talk about. And uh, it's really important if you do, again, have that customer that is a little timid on getting the, behind the wheel of something this big, if, especially if they had a motorhome before that was much smaller. Um, the Hurricane is built on a new 2020 Ford F53 chassis. This is utilizing the V8, it's a 7.3 liter, uh, it's a two valve, putting out much more horsepower than the year before. 350 horsepower and 468 pound-feet of torque. Has some really cool features as a part of this chassis as well. One being a hill start assist. So if you are on a grade and you let go of the brake, it's not gonna roll back. All right, it's gonna automatically assist you in moving forward. Uh, automatic headlight activation. I think that's really important, especially if you're driving through night. Um, and then on this specific floor plan, I should say anything that's 31 feet to 34 and 35 feet, new for this year, for 2021, every hurricane is gonna be built on 22 and a half inch wheels. So you'll have the Alcoa polished aluminum. They're gonna be cooler on your brakes they're gonna look nicer 
and you're riding on more rubber versus the year before would be 19 and a half inch wheels. So more rubber on the road, it's gonna be a nicer ride. Uh, and of course, we'll get to this here in a second, more storage capacity in the basement. Moving down the side of the coach, something that's unique to the Hurricane brand versus some other Class A's you might see is this armless awning. It may not seem like a big deal, uh, but we're actually able to get more natural light, more windows in the coach. If we were to have arms on these awnings, it would restrict the amount of windows we can put in certain floor plans. Uh, from a functional standpoint, it's really useful because when that awning is out, if the nose of that awning moves up or down approximately eight inches, it will pull itself in. Uh, some call it a motion sensor, a wind sensor. I like to call it a motion sensor because uh, if you do have someone that likes to tug on it, maybe it's a rowdy kid or something, it will pull itself in and keep it in. In addition to that, so something unique about this year's awning is we put LED light strips uh, in the brackets of the awning. So when they come out uh, versus the year before, you would have these LED light strips tucked away and it'd be hard to see. Uh, so now with them on the brackets, it's really unique. It's nice that whether it's out all the way or partially, if you do have some restrictions in some of your campsites, uh, you'll still have that natural light underneath your campsite. So with the hurricane, every sidewall, roof and floor is gonna go through a construction process called vacuum bond lamination. Uh, it's something that's really important for us to talk about here at Thor Motor Coach. Uh, specifically, if you do have a customer that's going to those parts of the country that gets really, really hot, we want to make sure that they feel comfortable that this sidewall is not going to start to bubble or what people call delaminate. So how that works is you have your fiberglass, your aluminum framing behind it, your insulation, and then your interior wallboard. It goes through what I like to call a giant food saver bag. Uh, it's about 45 foot long. It applies 60 pounds per square inch of pressure for approximately 30 minutes and when it comes out of there uh, we can almost guarantee that the chance of that delamination occurrence can be very very minimal, uh, minimal if anything at all. Moving on down, outside entertainment is always going to be standard on the Hurricane. So out here you'll have a TV that's on a swivel bracket so you pull this out. You can help eliminate glare not only with this cover of the TV also with your awning and then being on a swivel bracket is really unique as well. So for those people who like to go tailgating, I think it's a great feature to talk about, should always talk about it. You have a Bluetooth sound bar. This is really cool. We started doing this a couple years ago. Um, it's already hardwired into the TV, so it's already hooked up, but if they want to utilize it for say music, for example, they can do that as well. Again, standard feature on the Hurricane. Your slam latch baggage doors for your basement storage. You open this up because we're on a bigger chassis this year for 2021, you are gonna see an increase in basement storage capacity, specifically a little bit more pass-through storage. So you are gonna have enough room for those collapsible or foldable tables and chairs, uh, paddles, you know, fishing poles, some of those essential things that you have when you are going camping. Moving on down, little things just to talk about, especially if you have a new customer, your gravity fill for your fresh water tank, small thing, but you always wanna talk about it. This little door right here, easily overlooked, but this is your outside LP connection. If you are gonna take a gas grill with you, say you wanna set up a table outside your campsite, um, have a little gas grill, it's a great feature to have to utilize if you wanna tether up to uh, your propane that's on board. And of course, towards the back, when you step up to the Hurricane, you are gonna get a molded fiberglass rear cap. So in addition to the front, you also have that rear cap as well. Um, it's a nicer look, kind of emulates something that you typically would see on a diesel Class A motorhome. Um, but it is, you know, from a strength standpoint, it's gonna be stronger uh, than your traditional pinch roll backs, but you'll have raised LED brake lights. Um, so for that person behind you, if you are towing a vehicle, it's a nice feature to have because you know those raised LED brake lights um, are gonna be something that's uh, nice at nighttime. If you do have someone 
tailing behind you if you are towing a vehicle. And of course, 8,000 pound hitch. Uh, with this chassis, we're on a 22,000 pound chassis. Uh, its gross combined weight rating is 26,000 pounds. So if you max out you know, cargo and payload, which is uh, you're over 4,000 pounds on this chassis, you still have 4,000 pounds to tow. So uh, plenty for, uh, for at least a, a mid-sized car. Uh, finally, on the roof, the roof material is a TPO. It's a thermal polyolefin. It's a commercial grade roofing material. Uh, what's unique about that is it's, it's really tear resistant. It's got a 12 year warranty. It's easy to repair. If you do happen to get some sort of snag or tear in that, all you do is you get another piece of TPO, put it over where that hole or that tear is, uh, essentially use a heat gun and it adheres to itself really easily. So uh, the cost and you know, the labor for it, it's, it's, it's very minimal compared to a fiberglass roof. And again, with that 12 year warranty, it's really appealing to the customer. Uh, a couple other things to talk about on the roof, again, hard to see right now from on the ground, uh, but new for 2021, we do have the option for a 100 watt solar panel, as well as what is standard, which is a WineGuard 2.0. So the WineGuard is gonna give you three things. It's gonna be your HD TV antenna. It's gonna be a Wi-Fi booster. So if you are parked at a campsite, they do have you know, uh, Wi-Fi on or at that campground it's gonna boost that signal, make it secure. And the third thing it's gonna give you is an actual Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you're driving down the road and you need to utilize Wi-Fi, it will provide that for you, essentially at a cost for however much you need. So inside the Hurricane 35M floor plan, this is our bath and a half model. So we're at the rear now in the bedroom area. Uh, this is where your full bath will be at. So when you step up to the Hurricane from other gas class A motorhomes, uh, you will see you do have that wrapped countertop. It's a little bit nicer look uh, when you step up into this category and this price point. If you come in, you see the shower, you'll notice it is a solid glass shower door versus a shower curtain. Um, this interior, it's, it's new for 2021. We're really excited. It's called the Luxury Collection. Uh, before we only had two colors of cabinetry, two decors. Uh, you had a, a cherry cabinet or a maple cabinet. So here it's more of a residential look. You'll see it's got that light grayish tone to it. Um, so again, something new and unique for us this year, uh, continuing to be innovative. So again, we're really excited about that. Inside the Hurricane, you will find all king bed floor plans. There's not a single queen bed in any single floor plan that we build here at Thor Motor Coach for the Hurricane. On either side, you will have USB ports, so easy connectability for whether it's your iPhone, your iPad, uh, or any other cell phone or tablet that you utilize, as well as you'll see 12 volt connectors on either side. And then on this side of the bed, underneath you'll have a 110 outlet. Um, key to mention that we do have an 1800 watt inverter. For, so for those people who need to utilize something like a CPAP machine at night when they're sleeping, it's a great feature to talk about. Um, above, you'll see one of the two ACs. So this is a 50 amp coach. You will have two 13,500 BTU air conditioners. Uh, something to talk about is also the interior ceiling height. We have an 84 inch interior ceiling height or a true seven foot interior ceiling. I like to make note of that, especially for my taller customers specifically because I have a lot of competition at this price point that utilize an 80 inch interior ceiling height. So a much shorter interior ceiling. So because we are in a bath and a half model, some would maybe have the idea that there's not as much storage because there's that second half bath. Uh, I would argue the differ because uh, here you see we have an extended wardrobe. So plenty of space for that couple that is maybe considering going full time. And then you'll have what you'll see six full size drawers here and then two slimmer drawers here not to mention i always want all my sales guys to talk about some of that hidden storage so in the tv in the bedroom if you pull up on this you'll see you also have what some would call a hidden storage area so maybe for those valuables jewelry watches things like that so again, plenty of storage here in the 35M. So I mentioned earlier that this does have the capability for that 
family that wants to full time it in a motorhome. Uh, one of those features that sometimes families look for in full timing is does it have washer and dryer prep? So a key feature to talk about is if you come into a hurricane and you see the louver doors, that just should be an indicator for you right away to know that it's got washer dryer prep. So if we open this up, you'll see it just looks like a pantry because we're always gonna give you storage first. But if you look to the right hand side, you'll see what looks to be like a false panel and then 110 outlets. But behind that panel is your water hookups as well as your electrical hookups. Over here, again, this is your half bath, right? So when you open this up, you have a sink, vanity, and a toilet. It's great for mom and dad when they have their privacy doors shut, right? You don't want to wake uh, mom and dad up or grandma and grandpa up to utilize the full bath in, in the back. So having that extra half bath is really important, especially if you have family members, younger kids, grandchildren sleeping out in the living room area. So the 35M is a floor plan that we've had for a while, but we did want to make a couple uh, unique and cool changes to the 2021 model year. Uh, for starters, you'll see this glow down here. Uh, this is because we did just now put in an electric fireplace. Uh, you can set the mood a little bit. You have different light features if you want to utilize that. Here it's orange, purple, and then blue. Uh, really unique if you don't want to utilize a lot of the propane to turn on your furnace. Um, moving over here to the sofa, again, we are in a luxury collection as far as the interior goes. So in addition to that grayish cabinetry I talked about earlier, you are going to more of a, a darker grayish colored uh, furniture. This sofa is different. If you have seen a 35M floor plan before in previous model years, you notice that it was a sectional like sofa. So we went to a full size three person couch. It does still have uh, the ability to be put into a jackknife, uh, giving you that extra sleeping space for any extra guests that you may have. Um, hard to point out, but we do have a new floor for the luxury collection. So this is a different floor for this model year. Um, it's more again, that residential look does look like that wood paneling, something again you would see uh, in a home. I mentioned earlier that we have an 84 inch interior ceiling height. Uh, part of that benefit is not just to appeal to that taller customer, but actually we are able to build taller slide boxes, what you'll see here. And because this is a sofa dinette slide, uh, we're actually able to get more overhead storage in here as well, thus also giving us more, um, I guess we'll call it natural light, right? More windows. So you'll see a lot of overhead storage, whether that's putting DVDs or books, of course, you know, a DVD player, but plenty of overhead storage. And when you're buying a motorhome, that's something the customer is always wanting to talk about. Underneath the cabinetry, you'll see you have LED lights, nice for at nighttime if you're reading. And of course, I mentioned earlier, all that natural light. So you're able to get a lot more natural light, more windows in this because again, we're raising the taller slide boxes and we're able to build that taller slide box because we have an 84 inch interior ceiling height. So here we're looking at the dream dinette. This is something that is pretty standard. In most of your gas class A motorhomes we build at Thor Motor Coach. Uh, again, just reiterating that we do have this new color for the luxury collections, that darker grayish tone. Um, if you are familiar with the uh, dream dinette, it does have the ability, you reach underneath, you you know, turn this lever uh, which is counterclockwise and it will drop down. You just move the pads over a little bit. And you do have the extra sleeping area. Um, to carry over what I'm talking about, again, really excited about this new look. Little things, you know, touch and feel. It's got a lot of eyeballs, I like to say. So, you know, above here, when we're looking at the molding, you know, it's got more texture to it. So we're really trying to appeal to that customer that's looking at something that they would typically find in a modern home. Also, What's nice about this floor plan, if you are sitting in the dinette or on the sofa over there, you still have the visibility of the TV. So based on where that TV placement is, where we talked about earlier, uh, it does pivot out a little bit. So it can appeal to both people sitting in the dinette, if you're playing cards, having breakfast, uh, you just wanna watch a movie and eat, you can have that ability whether you're sitting on the sofa or in the dinette. So when you make the step up into the Hurricane uh, Gas Class A model, you are gonna get some extra cool features that you wouldn't have in some of our price point Gas Class A's. Specifically, when you go into the kitchen, the galley area, you are gonna have a solid surface countertop. 
Uh, this, again, it's a new, uh, new countertop look for us, specifically for the luxury collection that we're in right now in the 35M model. Uh, but again, recess, double bowl, stainless steel, so more of that residential feel and look. All right, does have the covers. When you put the covers on, it gives you that additional countertop space uh, for food prep area. We are utilizing the new Furion oven and range. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice feature. It's got a tempered glass cover. It's a little bit more flush than what we had before with the, I guess it was an aluminum cover that, you know, raised up that countertop space so it didn't really help you especially if you were doing some food prep gooseneck residential style faucet as well so again a lot of similarity to what they may have at their current home of course everybody's always asking the storage question how much storage does it have so you always want to open up the cabinetry specifically underneath do i have enough room for cleaning supplies for a trash can uh, give the example show them the space that's really important and of course, drawers, whether you have utensils, spices, remotes, you name it. And they're pretty deep drawers as well. So I always like to show all of them. And of course, up top, you wanna to make sure you have plenty of stuff for plates and for bowls. So the shelving is important to feature. And of course, above the microwave. So here you'll find not just storage but also the placement of your blu-ray player and your hdmi switcher box coming over the refrigerator kind of self-explanatory but something i always want to point out is uh is this feature right here so this lock so you make sure you want to make sure you have this pulled in if you are driving you don't want this door to swing open and have you know uh, juice or milk any sort of drinks or food spill out uh, but also <laughs> remember to move it open if you're trying to open it up. See this a lot when I'm training at a dealership's lot, they'll yank on it and forget that this lock lever is here. So always important to talk about. And pantry may not look like it, sort of hidden because it doesn't have an actual bracket, but you can feel the groove right here. You have an actual pantry here. And not only do you have shelving, but you have a couple of drawers that pull out as well. So really nice feature to show off to that customer. Next we're gonna talk about is our Firefly Multiplex system. So this is something, again, unique to the Hurricane when you make that step up into this price point gas class A. This is the same Multiplex feature that we utilize in our diesel class A motorhome. So it's a high-end feature, um, but we're really proud to present this and the Hurricane model. So what makes this really unique is simply, it's the command center for operating your motorhome, getting set up for your campsite. So over here on the left-hand side, you can see it has a home symbol. So if you tap that, you'll see a grid layout or four boxes, if you will. On the top left is the master light on and off switch. Over on the top right, you will see the fresh water, gray water tanks, black water tanks, and your liquid propane. So all the levels for that. Underneath, your water pump, your water heater, gas or electric. Bottom left, that's your thermostat, your zone control, because we, too, we do have two air conditioners on board. You can see where the temperature in the bedroom is versus the living room. And then on the bottom right, you'll see the house battery level, chassis battery level, generator start and stop switch, and of course your auto gen start feature, which we'll talk about here in a second. So on the left-hand side, you'll see what looks like a lightning bolt. So if you tap on that, this is your auto gen start settings. This is a great feature to talk about, especially if you have customers that have pets. You like traveling, camping in the summertime, you wanna leave, you wanna go on a bike ride or a hike, and don't necessarily have the need or maybe want to take your pet. So if you leave that pet in the motorhome, it's a great feature to talk about, specifically the triggers. So you can either go by battery voltage or by heating and air conditioning. So in the example I'm giving is, let's talk about air conditioning. So if it's in July and you go for a hike, you wanna make sure that this trigger is set for HVAC, so heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. So if I tap that, it's gonna ask, are you sure you want to continue and enable this trigger? 
So normally I would hit yes, but for the sake of the demonstration, I'll just hit no. And if I have my thermostat set at say 72 degrees, if it gets warmer than that inside the motorhome, it's gonna automatically kick on the generator to thus turn on your air conditioners. So great feature to talk about. Again, battery voltage, pretty self-explanatory. If the house batteries do get below a certain level, which you can control over here, it will start your generator, thus charging your house batteries. Um, quiet time start and stop. This is a great feature to talk about, especially at the campsites that do have a quiet time or dark hour. So if you're only allowed to have your gen on until 7 p.m. Uh, or you can't turn it on until 10 a.m., that's a great feature to talk about. Um, moving on, the light bulb symbol. Pretty self-explanatory, it's how you control your lights. But what's cool about that is some of these symbols have arrows up or down. So specifically for looking at the living ceiling, if I were to tap this and hold, I don't know if it's hard to see now, but we are dimming the lights all the way down. So at nighttime, if it's somewhere or someplace where you really don't want to have a lot of light, maybe somebody went to bed a little bit early, you still want to stay up a little bit and read, um, that's a great feature to, to talk about. All you have to do is press and hold, and then the lights come back. Of course, your bathroom ceiling also has a dimmer on it, and then your bedroom and your rear bath all have dimmers on it. Or of course, if you want to turn them all off, at the top it says master or light master on or off. So you can hit all of them on or all of them off. Moving on down the line, you'll see what looks like a thermostat. Again, this is how you control your air conditioning as well as your heating. You can independently control the front air conditioner or the rear air conditioner as well as your front bathroom ventilation fan or your rear bathroom fan. Almost done. Here you'll see what looks like the slide out symbol. So really nice layout of what your floor plan is and which slide out we're controlling, whether it's the awning, the bedroom slide out or the dinette slide. And it's really nice that it says extend or retract so you know which one you're trying to do. Uh, also on the bottom right hand corner, it'll say slides either locked or unlocked, awning locked or unlocked, bunk locked or unlocked. So for Thor Motor Coach and the Hurricane, we have to have the engine turned on to bring up the slides. We just wanna make sure we have consistent power throughout those 12 volt motors that bring that big slide out. So that's really important have to have the engine on and the parking brake in. But while we're driving down the road, we probably don't want to bring out our awning or bring the overhead bunk down, which we'll talk about later. So that's why if the engine is on, you'll probably see the awnings and the bunk symbol is locked. Lastly, you'll have the setting symbol or it looks like a gear. What I'd love to talk about is at the top left, it'll say mobile app. So if we tap that, it does give us the app to which to download, whether you have an iPhone or an Android. So whether you go to the Google Play Store or the app or Apple Store, um, it does give you the app to which download on your phone. Every single feature that we went over with, with you right now is something you can control on your tablet or your phone. So it's a really cool feature to talk about whether you're outside trying to bring up the slides and you have you know, a tree next to you, you wanna make sure you don't hit that tree or maybe another camper, um, or you wanna have some fun with it and tease your kids and dim the lights when they don't know it. So again, have some fun with it. It's a really cool, unique feature. Um, it's the Firefly Multiplex. Lastly, moving our way up to the front of the coach, a uh, couple really cool features I'd love to talk about. Uh, for starters, is your drop down overhead bunk. It is a 500 pound capacity. It's more of a full size bed, so you can fit two adults up there. Um, it almost looks hidden. It's uh, hard to really tell if that's a bed or not. So when you are looking at uh, or working with a new gas class A customer, um, a lot of times they may overlook this. So it's a wow factor. It's something to always point out because it works really well into the front of the coach. Um, again, if they don't need it as often as they think, 
Uh, it's a great feature to talk about as far as maybe hidden storage so they can put their valuables up there and bring it up and uh, no one will know that it's actually a bunk. So I always love to point that out. Uh, moving down here to the captain's chair and the passenger chair, uh, as you can see, both of these chairs swivel and turn around and essentially can become part of your living space, thus increasing uh, your conversation area. Uh, what's unique about the driver's chair is it is a six-way power chair. So for that taller, shorter individual, uh, it's great to talk about it forwards, backwards, you know, it tilts uh, up or down. So really give you that best comfortability when you are driving. That's why we did that and made it standard on the Hurricane. Um, over there on the passenger side, you will see what looks like a desk. So this desk will pull out. So cool if you have somebody, maybe like, you know, a kid in college, they're still working on some homework. Um, they want to utilize their you know, laptop or their tablet and they want to be plugged in. There is a 110 outlet right to the bottom right of where that desk is. Uh, what's unique about that, as I mentioned earlier, it does have an 1800 watt inverter on board. So this outlet is inverted. So to run a computer or a tablet or anything like that, uh, it's great to talk about because that will power that, uh, that item. And then I do want to point out the doghouse. So the doghouse is essentially the area that covers up that engine. So with this new V8 engine we're utilizing this year on the 2020 Ford F53, um, previously it was a V10, so a much bigger engine. So what customers may notice if they have looked at a Class A before is the doghouse is much smaller. So it's easier to maneuver. It's easier to swing your legs over it. Um, you know, you still have the cup holders, but again, it gives you more area. Uh, it's, it's lower. They don't have to worry about tripping over that doghouse area as much. And of course, talking about the engine, I got to talk about the steering wheel. Uh, it looks, it feels like something you would see on a normal Ford truck. So you do have the uh, controls at the steering wheel, navigating through that digital cluster in the dash, whether I'm looking at my oil life, miles till empty on fuel, uh, or on the right-hand side, if I'm gonna increase the volume up or down without reaching over and trying to adjust it manually. So there's some really cool features on this. You do have traction control as well. Um, I mentioned that, I mentioned a few features earlier, but just kind of re reiterate and touch base, that hill start assist, the headlight activation, all standard on this chassis. And then finally, you have the new dash radio. So it's a 10 inch touchscreen. It gives you Sirius satellite radio ready. So three months free coming from Thor Motor Coach. But what I really like to talk about, is because most of the cars you'll see today do have the Apple CarPlay or the Android Auto feature. So whether you have an iPhone or a Samsung or any type of Android phone, it will mirror whatever's on that phone to the screen. So you don't have to worry about downloading a navigation or purchasing um, a Garmin you know, uh, tablet to attach to your dash. All you have to do is plug in your phone in the USB port right underneath uh, the radio right there. And of course it'll mirror everything on your phone over to the screen. So underneath, you'll see a USB that's lit up in blue. You'll want to utilize this USB versus this one down here. This one will just be for charging. So this will be to mirror that phone uh, or tablet over to the screen here. And of course, you do have a backup camera. So if you would rather run the camera, slide over, hit camera. If we do have the engine running, we can see what's behind us. And of course, if I were to hit the turn signal up to turn right, it would show us what's on the right hand side of us or down to turn left, it would show us in the camera on the left mirror. So uh, great feature to talk about. Love the new radio, specifically some of those features that you typically find on those newer uh, vehicles that are in production right now.